Well, just wanted to document a couple of things here. Uh, getting ready to put in the uh, new server rack here in the lab. Get rid of this white table. We're going to have three G5 servers and an XServe set up on the table. These two Dell monitors will go on the on the on the new uh, Chrome rack, and we're going to get that all wired in on gigabit Ethernet and get it all set up and running here. This is the front of one of my G5 towers, and then we get over here and I'll show the two monitors we're going to be using. It's on a dual monitor setup right now. We'll probably go independent for a while so I can configure the other server. Right now, this is a temporary holding area for this particular server here. It's running OS 10 Leopard server, 10.5.8. Uh, anyway, and then this is the server that's going to be on the table also. This is running OS 10.5.8 Leopard server. It's got 2.5 gig of RAM, it's got 1.5 terabytes of storage, and that's going to be on the new Chrome rack that's going to take the place of this old white table, which is not sufficing my storage capacity needs right at this moment. Okay, stay tuned for more reports. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll come back and we'll show a little more progression as we go along. Then uh, here's the uh, commercial grade six shelf storage unit we're going to be using. We've got to put all that together yet, and we'll just get that assembled and then that's going to take the place of the white table. And for the server rack, then I have my uh, assortment of cables, cabling we're going to be used, all uh, enhanced uh, Cat5 for a gigabit Ethernet. Got a 8-port uh, gigabit switch, net gear, and that's going to be hooking into the server bank. And we got our, like I said, all the necessary cabling, the different ones. This will be the red feed line that runs the rack from my other gigabit switch on the uh, 24 megabit uh, internet network. So uh, we'll come back for some more reports. Okay, there's one Dell monitor disconnected and undone there. We're going to do the second monitor in just a moment. Okay, number two Dell monitor disconnected and then we're going to pull the tower off the table here and then uh, start the assembly and the dimensioning of the uh, shelving. Okay, it looks a little bare now, so we got the tower off, and then we're going to take the rest of the table apart here. Start assembling the rack. Okay, totally, totally bare on the table now. Totally bare on the table now, and uh, we're going to go over here and start unpacking this big monster for the server rack. Well, there it is, slid out of the box. Now I'm going to size up the server on there, see how it's going to, how we're going to best orientate the machines on that rack. So, be back. Okay, now we got the bottom shelf at a standard height, and got the poles set. The support, the support uh, poles uh, are set in their place. Now we're going to make it go vertical with it, and start doing the rest of the shelves we'll be using. What a mess! It's going to look nice when I'm done though. Alright, what we're doing now is sizing up the spacing between the shelves. This is the hardest part, deciding where I want to have everything, what angle and what height. So that's what we're doing now is sizing up. So I got one of the servers sitting on there now. We're just sizing up where the second, actually where the third shelf is going to start. So, that's where we're at. Okay, looks like I almost got a decision here on the third shelf. On the, it'll be the monitor height. We're going to have monitors there, so it's taking some shape. See the height of that? It's taking some shape, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I think this is going to be work out all right. Let's go to the here. I'll take you around to the front here. This is with one Dell monitor set on, but this is with all the shelves. We used every shelf except for one. Let me get around here. Um, there's the very top center, that's the center of that one there will be where the XServe sits. Two monitors and the keyboard, the mouse, and you know, accessories will have plenty of room. Plenty of room in the bottom if I want to put more APCs down there. And then our three G5s will set across that shelf. So, anyway, that's what it looks like so far. So, I think we may finalize that. So, 
Okay, getting ready to run the 25-foot uh, uh, cabling, the Ethernet Enhanced Cat 5 over to the gigabit switch in the other room, which will terminate here at the server rack on another gigabit switch. Getting ready to run that over to there, and to uh, so we can have some internet here once we uh, start to bring these servers up. Okay, just uh, position the uh, the gigabit switch, the GS108 Netgear, on the rack. Position it. Run my uh, gigabit feed up to the other gigabit switch and up to the uh, 26 megabit uh, the uh, internet and. Uh, now we're going to be setting servers later, but right now i got to run and get a power strip, so I will shall return. Okay, time for another update. Now we've got the uh, main power leg, the uh, distribution uh, strip there, going down to the uh, APC battery backup. And we've got it uh, running into our uh, APC there in the rear. And uh, that'll be the this will all be the branch circuits for the AC power. So, and then I just uh, also powered up, and we're getting ready to make this wiring neat coming to the uh, the uh, gigabit switch. And uh, we indeed are linked. So we've got uh, we've got link on our uh, gigabit to our server rack. So we're ready to go there. And it should be up and running later on this evening on one server at least. So, anyway, we'll come back uh, for more follow up. Okay, I got one of the servers set back online with it here temporarily, anyway. It's just a temporary setup. So, we got uh, hooked in the switch there now. So, we're good to go. For now, with that, so that's a gigabit to the Mac, and then uh, we'll back up here a little bit. Show us what it's going to look like here a little bit. One server set. There'll be a one in the center. There'll be one in the end. There'll be an X server sitting up here. APCs will have room to put more down there if need be. So it's kind of a nice little setup. It makes it a lot neater than what I had before anyway. So, okay, we shall return. Okay, got the second server set now. Went ahead and did that anyway. Uh, just temporarily wired it all in. The wires aren't uh, completely neat the way I like it because the wiring is going to look like this. You know, time I'm finished, it will look like that. It's nice and neat. And these wires are just all kind of just struggling right now. But and then the uh, third G5 tower will set in there. And then uh, I'm running dual monitors. And let's see, we'll come around here. Got the other, uh, you can see now that I've got the other computer up and running on the uh, gigabit switch. And uh, clearly see that both lights are lit. Just to tell you that's uh, running one gig between the two Macs. And then I'm streaming uh, some video here from Hulu on the G5 2.3. So we get you a little back shot here. We'll see what it's going to look like. So there's the APC sh shelf. This will be the G5 tower uh, server rack. This will be the center. Will be for another G5 tower. An X serve will be going here at this location. And I'll have accessory uh, bay up on top here to look at. So it's coming along rather nicely. It uh, really looks good too. It uh, looks a lot better than that white table. So anyway, a lot more to do, and we'll come back, and we'll always keep you, as always, informed. Here's a little preview of what it looks like in the dark. See the red LED on the camera. 